Oh, everybody, welcome to game number two with the rats. We're down a line rat, got a wrestle, got one. Uh, picked up the apple now, which is pretty cool. Against undead, up against Divi's undead. Uh, got a skelly. It's a babe, I guess. Hmm. Dual mighty blow, pretty scary for the bats. Guaranteed win, never lost a Divi. Yeah. I hope you die, I watch VOD. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit harsh, Divi. <laughs> All storm vermin are black. Ah, okay. The Council of Thirteen are guarded by the Red Guard, who are all giant albino storming. Ah, okay. Nice. Defense. Harsh with a ban? Um, I guess not. We'll let him off this time. <laughs> Dimmy is uh, he's going to UKTC, by the way. Um, quite soon, actually. Staying undead. So I guess that's why the team name and uh, and why the snipe. Get some get some practice in. Fair play. Yeah, he perfect. Bit of rats. Very nice. I say very nice, I don't know. I don't know, rats are kind of dumb, aren't they? To be fair, our first game was a very dumb game. I was expecting more Demi vs. Elliot games for some reason. What does the dog imply? Corgi. What does Corgi mean? I'm due to die, so I want to know if it's you, Chi Chi Chuggles, Bill Jeff Hewitt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for the uh, for the opportunity, Marzen. But yeah. Let, he, let him off. Don't want to dominate him in the chat game as well as on the pitch, do I? Yeah. Undead are pretty good. I'm a little bit scared. Corgi. Oh right. Okay. I... So what? What? What's the implication of more Divi versus Elliot games? What? Like you thought it'd snipe me more, or? Corgi is so dull. No special levels. Yeah, it sucks when that happens. I had a high elf team a few seasons back and I played like 10 games on it or so. And it was so boring. <laughs> I just stopped playing it. I just could not bring myself to play it anymore. It's a completely vanilla. Not going for the mighty blow blitz. That's weird. I don't know why. I don't know why you'd not do the mighty blow blitz. Also, bringing the mummy off the front line seems suspect as well. Like, why are we protecting the mummy? I mean, just having it on the front line next to a zombie is enough to stop it getting hit, isn't it? Since Tim is always around while you're here, yeah. Yeah, he, he works. He works during the day. He just has Tuesdays off. So it's it's only Tuesdays that it would have the chance to play me anyway. Oh, 
classic that ogre. Yeah, yeah, he plays the Udins, yeah. Mo mostly on the weekend. But yeah, sometimes during the week as well. Oh, I just like splits a while, it's a shame. Yeah, I just think it's pretty awesome. Using this strat of slagging Dimmy's turn off. Well, like I say, I I I, I feel like I wasn't slagging it off, but also like I assume he's sniping me because he wants to practice, right? So, and he said he's gonna watch the vod. So, maybe if I talk a bit about what he's doing, it could be helpful. I mean, I'm not gonna talk about it a lot because he yeah, obviously I mostly wanna mostly wanna focus on what I'm doing. Yeah, Dimmy sniped me. Yeah. Uh... Just messing, yeah, I know, I know. Hmm. No rat ogre kind of limits of options a bit, doesn't it? Not doing a mighty blitz, mighty blow blitz every turn's a bit sad. Lay down and wait for the one turn? Maybe. Dimmy, this is Zack from the past. You fucked up. I don't know where or when, but it happens, Dimigbeer. I can poke some zombies, I guess, but that barely seems worth it, does it? We should probably just fully run away, to be honest. Had to get at him so way. Oh, hi. <laughs> Face bomb over yeah. I mean, what else do you expect against the most diced man in Blood Bowl? Time we on. Um, the last game was pretty fast. Maybe, maybe we do one more after this one. We'll see. See how long this one takes. Hmm. Or maybe not. I don't know. I I got a bit of work to do, so I might might be best to call it a day after this one. Is Dim even streaming? I assume he's streaming, right? No. In Among Us, if Dimmy is quiet on comms, he is 100% an imposter. Let's this zombie take an extra hit. And try and get out of the way.
At least the apple works. Thank God the apple worked. Are you cheating us with another job? Oh, yeah, I've, I've been working. Well, I've, I've been working part time for about a year or so now. But yeah, sadly, sadly, the the, the stream is interesting. Um, I guess it's somewhere between a, a job and a hobby. But yeah, sadly, not enough. Sadly, not enough to, uh, um, you know, to do it full time. Sadly, not enough, you know, income for it to do it full time. The jobby. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did I say jobby? I don't know. Maybe we could stay in front of him, but I really don't want the like the gut runners getting a hit and stuff. And we don't have enough other people to protect them. And we're already two players down, and he's getting micro hits every turn. So I think he would have just scored anyway. We'll just let him go past and hope that we, you know, don't take much damage. Try the one turn. And then uh, eight turn for the draw. Or the win, depending on the one turn. Oh, job to hobby. Ah, nice. Eh. This does leave a hit on, doesn't it? If it, if it pushes, but I mean, you probably shouldn't even go for it. To be fair, no. ah well, it's kind of nice to keep somewhat in touch, isn't it? Just in case he does something dumb and gives us a chance. And you never know, might. Might get a zombie off, which would be pretty awesome for the one turn. Afternoon, Vully. It's the white, I guess. Unless the mummy protects it. Three turns left. Nah, just go for, just go for damage. I was thinking maybe we can, maybe we can stand in his way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, twice. So it's even GFIs to hit him, isn't it? Might just run away completely. <laughs> no, I just do the JFIs, hit the hit the white. Let's get the gut runners out of here first. Problem is we hit the white and we get mighty blow back, right? But we can't escape completely. I guess we could have escaped completely from the mummies to be fair. Yeah, we probably just don't even Take a blitz or anything here. The play is probably just to completely run away. Or maybe we have to. Maybe we have to get lucky. T 
<laughs> he wouldn't do anything to endanger my bounties. <laughs> Alright, seems he would, unfortunately. Undead bad for rats. Um, I mean, they're both pretty great. Undead are better, I think. Um, oh, Undead are just one of the best teams in the in the game, right? At 1000 TV. Like, having having two strength, five mighty blow guys is awesome. Yeah, rats are really good as well, it's true. Rats are really good as well. Um, I think it's a close one. I'd probably slightly favour the Undead. Especially in the rat versus Undead matchup, right? Because the Undead are very solid and they have, like, ghouls, which are really good. And they can just smash the rats to pieces. And yeah, the rats kind of have a bit of an answer to that. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, our answer is, you know, cast himself out turn one. So in this situation, it's it's very much, you know, we're very much second favourites now, I think. But uh, yeah, overall, it's pretty close, isn't it? I think overall, it's pretty close, but I'd, I'd probably just give the undead the edge. Harder for us to escape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the all the shitty edge two players. He has let us split him. A bit like the last guy. We only have the two gut runs on their feet. And it's not like it's it's easy to do much about. Yeah, maybe we should. Lots of slow idiots down here. Ball's got a bit of company, hasn't it? But not that much. We even go for the GFI here and then tag this one with the other gut runner I kind of like. Take a 1D? Quite like dodging him out. It sucks taking in the hits, doesn't it? But since we've gone in, we might as well go all the way in. We'll dodge him out and then maybe do the 1D on the zombie. He can free up the zombie really easily anyway, can't he? Now it's a little bit harder. Could have done the 4-3. Oh, no, no, it's 4-4, four, four, isn't it? 4-4-3. Four, four, Don't let him win. He, well, he, already, he already beat me anyway, right? He beat me in the Noalius game for like $100 or whatever it was. Which was pretty sad. <laughs> and he's already unsufferable anyway, so... <laughs> I don't think it makes much difference. Well, is he just scoring? Or is he just gonna, uh, you know, dodge the ghouls out or something? Could he even just like eye cage, couldn't he? Maybe put the ball in here. I think scoring probably not the play here, right? It's scary against the rats, though, isn't it? Even like even just the chances of, chance of us rolling a six with a line rat and then getting away with the gut runner is pretty scary. Yeah, the 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 score is obviously you know really bad against the rats. Even with this on one reroll, it's a, it's a bit of a shame we're down to one. But... but I think it's still much better to just try and stall here, as awkward as it is. Is he eye caging? Or is he going to put the ball in here the problem is i don't really like dodging them out because you can't you can't sideline it you can't sideline it against the rats obviously and if you uh and you can fail the dodgers which is really bad and if you um and if you don't sideline it you can't really protect it mm. oh this is pretty good <laughs> um Fair play, this is a pity. Well, yeah. I guess it's a four and a five. 
Hmm. It's better than just a straight up guy in here, isn't it? But is there a nice way to do it? Let's think. I don't think so. Obviously, you have to go for the surf. Oh, it's actually oh, it's actually two fours and a five, isn't it? We probably don't bother re-rolling. Is there a nicer way in? Don't think so. Should have probably popped him into range first, shouldn't I? Or try and scatter it with a line rat dodge. Obviously, it's still pretty likely for him to score. It's exactly the same as he did to me before in our... Uh, in our... Um, only game. Gave me the... Surf. Turn seven. Well, that was unexpected. Uh, I guess we just let him surf it, I think. I think we just let him surf it. At least force him to activate. I think is what we do here. At least uh, force him to activate like two ghouls, like maybe three, doesn't it? Maybe three players. So if we we could dodge to here, try and scatter it, or pass it. I think the best thing to do is to force him to activate some stuff to to get the ball on the floor. And have to go. Uh, nah, that, that's worse, right? Because it only takes two activations then to surf it. I'm really surprised he's going for the blitz. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, okay, fair enough. It uses less players as well. It's just that... What if you want to blitz one of these? But I guess you don't, do you? That's fair. It uses less players to get the rat down. Oh no, it worked, yeah. In the end, I think working was better. I think it was better that it worked than it didn't work. Because we get the scatter out either way, right? Well, if it works, then he has to activate so his players to do it. But yeah, sadly, not the not the scatter of our dreams. Yeah, well, that was the hope, Justmith, yeah. So yeah, down to two gut runners now is a bit sad. Hmm. Ooh, and not really enough rats for the... Well, we, we, the, yeah, we'll have a chance for the one turn, but this many rats makes it very difficult. Yeah, rowdy rats. Yeah, it's a good point. That is a good point. Rowdy rats back in the menu. <clears throat> Keeping it on the line right, he could have chosen not to surf. Could he? Oh, yeah, he could. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mm, yeah, that's true, actually, yeah. Maybe that was the play. Maybe that was the play, actually, then. Yeah, maybe the play was not surfing, yeah. And then you still have the follow-up hit. And you still have the follow-up hit to surf if you do want it, don't you? So, yeah, maybe you blitz for the surf. Uh, right, anyway, let's... Uh... Oh, how do you do this? I think we have to do whole methods due to the lack of players. 
Um. Yeah. Can we do both pushes with it? Oh, I'm running out of time. Both push with the rogue at once. Uh... We'd have to fill these two as well. Do we have the players for that? Not really. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe. Okay, so we want to do this guy. Yeah, Wandy this guy. Wandy this guy into the hole and then bring you around to here. And then frenzy with the rat ogre up to here. No, no, we need to fill this square as well. Shit. Oh, shit. Um, hope the ball's shallow, I guess. Um, or maybe I shouldn't be using the rat ogre here, but it's kind of too late now. I'll hope we get a <laughs> hope we get a very shallow kick. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, it's pretty great. All right, one D this one. Shit. Uh, it's okay. We can swap these around, can't we? we can put you into there. you into here. Need the push. Got it. Can't make it three, sadly. Ah, it's a shame. Let's go, Dibby. Wow. Alright, nine rats. Just Dak, I guess. Yeah, not the Rogue's best game.
Maybe the Ratwood does want to be one more square back. Doesn't really matter, I think. Don't want to bring the Ratwood too far down. Like, he gets blocked, but what can you do? But obviously, if you bring him too far down, then he'll never get back up the pitch again. We can hang around. Yeah, will make a bit of a, a beachhead for us. Bit of a beachhead. Is the idea. If he stays on the pitch. Mr. GFI bait. I mean, two, two gut runners is, is a bit problematic, isn't it? When you try and push through, then only having two guys who can actually move around is uh, a bit of a worry. If we go for the ghoul with the uh but I don't hate it. I get the ball first anyway. I guess the problem is now he can smash. I guess I should have pushed the yeah. I should push the ghoul to the left, right? Because now he can he can two D it with the mummy without the GFI. Left us this for some reason. Uh, problem is, I don't really want to go yet. While there's a bit of space. Maybe we do. I 
Like defending a short drive wouldn't be the, the worst scenario in the world. Would also give us win chance, of course. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, that's bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take up some of these slow people. Try and restrict the number of uh, undead that are going to be in front of us next turn. Oh. Yeah, that was pretty bad, wasn't it? For I mean, I should have checked first, I guess. But Oh, well. Made the GFI. No, no problem. Yeah, maybe we hand off the gut runner then, yeah. I didn't think about him blocking the rat without surfing it. Neither, neither did he apparently, but yeah, that's actually a good shout. I think. God, please take the follow-up. <laughs> yeah. Where this white goes. Hopefully, he bases the ball. Okay, one D through then. Might even go for the rat over here. I'll probably stand this zombie just to tie down a rat. Who cares about it getting surfed? I'm not going to surf it anyway, am I? We wrap this guy around to here. Uh, I kind of want to. I guess the gut runner could do that. But no, the gut runner has to go forwards. Uh, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't take the hit. Maybe we don't take the hit. It's gonna be it's gonna be tight anyway, isn't it? Getting this ball safe. Uh, it's not really gonna be safe, is it? I guess do some GFIs with the line map. I know he should have done the no, he didn't need to GFI anyway. Could just bring him to here, but that's not really good enough. Do we do the triple GFIs? I mean, the scare one is the loner one, of course, but maybe we do. Or like, it's just too easy for him. I guess we have to. Oh, dear. Well, <laughs> rip. We got both gut ones in range, so if he does get us down but doesn't retrieve it, there's still a chance. Can't really get the white there either, so not the you know, not the best sack chance ever. He can 3D it though. I guess we could have considered doing the, the other line map first, but I think the loner one was just a lot more important, to be honest. 
Like, even if we get this one in. Like, it stops the 3D, makes it a bit more awkward for him, but... I think it's way too important to get the loan in here. Or we could have just left the top open, but... Mm, we could have gone for that. Yeah, for the sake of... For the sake of one GFI, I thought it would be okay. Can't believe it's not making it three. Yeah, but that's a completely terrible way to look at it, Ben Somniac. Like, I'm interested in, you know, what the best play was, not what happened. I mean, obviously, I'm interested in what happened as well, but that's, like, not relevant to any kind of analysis. Not sure why I did this zombie GFI. Or picking the ball up. Um. Oh. Not that it. Yeah, <laughs> not that it really matters. <laughs> um. This is pretty bad, isn't it? I think we just roll all the dice with this gut on it. That seems completely terrible. Do we uphill? Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uphill for pushers. Seems very... Seems very bad as well, but... You know, everything is very bad here, isn't it? I think we could uphill from this square onto the ball... Then there were some really awful scatters. The problem is that we just don't even get it safe right. Like, even if we do get it, it's still... It's still a mess, isn't it? Two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sure. Oh, maybe I should... No, 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 I don't want to go for this car. one GFI so that we can <laughs> try and put a screen in. Or do we just tag this white? I mean, I have to do the GFI anyway because we, we get away from the white. Um, the screen would involve the Rat Ogre dodge. I mean, we'll do, we, we have to do the dodge first. No matter what we're doing, we, we, we're making this dodge. Um... Or maybe he does have, he has a 3D as well, like, it, I mean, he had a 3D last time and didn't take it, so maybe, maybe he wouldn't this time, but. Oh, oh, oh fucking right out of time, holy shit, I didn't even hear the turn counter, wow. You didn't even, you didn't even hear the turn counter, shit. How long is the C-Cell line on Rawdist? About three months or so. Yeah. Yeah, sorry if I came over as harsh, Ben Somniac. Uh, no, not not being myself up at all. Um, just good to consider, you know, different options.
and like the 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 you know these are the dice so you know so something it always is a bit of a bit of a pet peeve of mine to be honest drives me absolutely insane <laughs> completely irrelevant Procrastinating. Well, hey. No armor break, okay? Okay. Chance? Telling me, Chance? Let's get this guy into range, I think, first. Before we roll these dice. Uh, do you take this block? Probably not. Let's just get him up here. Well, and now I say that, yeah. Now let's go for it. Can't go backwards. Have to, have to try and score her, surely. Um, I say that, maybe not even. Do, do we do we do we keep trying to stall this? The problem is if he does powers again and get the ball we're in trouble. But giving him the three turn is also giving him the three turn is also just a loss. To be honest, at least the two turns a bit harder. Keep the white tagged. Force as many GFIs out as we can. Try and get some reinforcements up the pitch. I was thinking about doing the, the 2D on the mummy to try and free the battle up. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true, that's true, yeah. That's true. Getting with the three turn cover the win, yeah. Yeah, that's true. This is probably a bit too... A bit too easy as well. But he's down to one reroll, right? You know, kind of needs the power because we have him in range too. But yeah, I think this is probably... I think this is probably drawing. But yeah, for sure, scoring is winning, it's true. But it's only two turns. I mean, okay, it's rats. <laughs> it is rats. We've only got two gut runners as well. Yeah. How was we, Roger? Mm, we were still there. Block him, can't he? Although the push isn't good enough. Maybe this zombie should have been in this square. The push keeps him in range. Yeah. Okay, this guy can make it. Probably has to do the 1D. Try and push him away. Dodge screen's pretty good, it's just it's a 3 plus rather than a 2 plus, isn't it? It does stop this rat a little bit, which is nice. Mm. Uh, do we even go with a line rat? Yeah, um, do we? Like, the thing is, it's uh, it's 33 for the, for the wrestle, isn't it? Versus 30... For the POW. I think it's an extra GFI. I guess we just go with a Wrestle then. I guess he assists, we go with a Wrestle, score this one. Not sure why I stood him up.
Of course, the, we get the both down option with him, but it's not great with all these ghouls around anyway. Okay. Wait, he's... Oh no, he's not surfable. <laughs> he's not surfable. He is whiteable though. Can three, can three deem with a white. Hey, Rick. Good morning. Should have got us a pickup, yeah. Hmm. Well, could be worse. Hmm. The problem is, I guess... Oh, wait, we have the line rat dodge. Yeah, hang on. So the line rat dodge is, again, it's, well, it's one in three for the power, isn't it? Versus the, the one in, one in four on the uphills. Maybe it's just the uphills. Because we have the, the, the line rat, we have the dodge as well. Um... There's nobody else that's relevant, is there? Uh, I guess it's just the upholds. Oh, yeah. Could could surf him, but that seems could surf him, but that uses all our people. Surf him a tree on this guy. If we get a good enough scatter, which is pretty unlikely. Oh, it's a three plus dodge now with him. Uh, so maybe that means we do go with this one then. Also gives us two gutter winners to help us score potentially. Yeah, okay. We'll definitely follow up because we're quite happy to catch it on him and just do the three plus, aren't we? Oh. Okay. Well. Um, could be worse. Um, yeah, I guess it's I guess it's like this. Stand him up because he might catch the scatter. Oh, should have GFI'd to there. Should have GFI'd to there so he could catch the scatter that was done, wasn't it? Alright. See if we can one turn. I'm not sure that giving him the battle ogre does much.
Yeah, hey, Bored Sword. Now type get wrecked Dimmy in the chat. Get wrecked Dimmy. Could have handed off. Uh, yeah, well, the handoff was a three plus. The handoff was a three plus. So it was definitely better to do with the double GFIs. But I should I should have GFI next to the cool. Like maybe, maybe it was better to do the four plus dodge. I don't think so. So the four plus dodge. Would not have had the double GFIs, would it? Yeah. I mean, we can, we can kind of, we can almost do it right. It's like uh, 89 times 70. So, uh, about 62. Is that right? Oh, it's, well, I say we can almost do it, but we get half of the roll as well, don't we? Without the, without the reroll, then the, Without the reroll, then the four plus dodge is definitely correct. Oh, you got a quick snap shit. Without the reroll, the four plus dodge is definitely correct. But with the reroll, three plus dodge double GFI seems a bit nicer. We also have the option of doing another three plus dodge if you've not popped dodge, and we still have the reroll, uh, and we don't have the reroll. Instead, one of the GFIs. Is Dewey banned? No, Dewey's not banned. He did tell me to die though, which wasn't very nice. It did say he hoped I died or something. <laughs> Alright. No rerolls is a bit sad, isn't it? But pretty pretty good chance with a quick snap. He needs to step this white up, I think. Hmm. Needs to be in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think you probably have to just start off with a GFI here, which is a bit sad. Oh, fuck, a touchback. Can even, uh, can even do it, um, can even just blitz through the back line. Can even blitz the goddamn gut runner, can he? Shit. So, not bad odds for this. To be honest. I mean you may have to use the blitz on the on the pushers. Okay, so he has to use the blitz on the pushers. At least. Only gets one more. Only gets one more block now. Then uses the blitz to get the final push. Mm, don't know why he's doing that. It's probably fine, but... Uh, seems unnecessary unless I'm missing something. At least a time out. Has he forgotten he can still blitz? Is this where you get the ghoul free? Uh, I guess you just trade the ghoul for the skelly. Is fair because the mummy can't get around anyway. Oh no, what's he done? What has he done? I think he's fucked it. Why on earth did he put this skelly in here? No, he was already a 3D. It was already a 3D without this guy. Yeah, he could have not followed would be one option. But he but if he if he doesn't follow, then he's he's not full the he can't full the squares anyway unless he frees a zombie. Moving this skelly in here was completely pointless. 
And they sh it probably should have been a different square to push to anyway. I don't know where or when, but yeah. your heart popped in me and yeah. it was. Yeah, there you go. But it, it was a 3D with a ghoul. It was already a 3D with a ghoul without the zombie and the skelly. The skelly did literally nothing. Other than take up a square that he could have blitzed through for the final push. Yeah, it was well on. The the movement seven like against just the you know the three guys on the LOS. You know, quick snap is you know, it makes the movement seven really doable. Like the first part was good, like Sometimes people, well, one of one of the obvious ways people fuck it up is by starting off with a blitz, but you just can't start off with a blitz when you give them the quick snap, right? And so it was good that he brought the brought the white in, did the GFI right off the bat, and uh, Storm Boy Ministry um, MVP is pretty nice. So it was pretty good that he did the GFI right off the bat, and uh, then yeah, I'll just push through, but. Yeah, I messed it up at the end. Self dicing, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um well the the problem wasn't the follow. Like he he could have he could have rescued it by not following, but he he'd gone wrong before the follow. All right, there's the draw. Complete the prediction, idiot. You didn't win the game. Yeah, you did. Well yeah. The, the scully was the scully was was wrong. You could have, I think, we could have pushed a different direction after that though, and still had an easier time of it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like, subscribe. Bye now.